I am kicking off my Dollar Tree Christmas DIYs with my most favorite Christmas element, which is the sound of jingle bells. I have store made door hangers and I wanted to make my own, so I'm giving you guys four different styles and all the material that I'm showing you here is from the Dollar Tree. This first door hanger, I am utilizing a couple of different elements from the Dollar Tree, which is this uh, faux like pine wreath. And what I'm doing is I'm taking a wire cutter, which these I also got from Dollar Tree as well, and I'm just simply plucking off some of the like little branches from the wreath because I want to make my own like holly wreath type version of a door hanger. I decided to go with about five little branches, but you can pick less or more. Uh, depending on how you want. I really wanted to get a variety of different lengths of the branches, but this wreath had the same exact length, so if you have other wreaths similar to that, you can cut from those as well if you wanted to. So what I'm doing is I'm also grabbing this gold thread from this other uh, decor from Dollar Tree because I needed to feed it through this bell because the bells from Dollar Tree, as you can see, didn't come with the little like hanging ornament thread or whatever. So now what I'm doing is I'm just taking the branches and because they already have like a wire built into it, it was easy for me to kind of like bend them and twist them so that they like molded together. You can use hot glue if you wanted to, but it was really simple for me to feel my way through and kind of like uh, bend the wire and manipulate it to kind of hold each branch together, if you will. I know that was hard to see here because the faux pines are in the way but it kind of ended up looking like a little snowflake, which I really liked. And then I'm taking the gold bell, uh, the string, and I'm just tying it in a simple knot. And then I'm gonna pick my ribbon of choice. And in this instance, this actually is not from Dollar Tree, it's just uh, the ribbon is from just a stash that I've had. But as you can see here, a lot of these are Dollar Tree ribbons that you can use that are out now. For this one, I'm using this red gorgeous gingham. So I'm gonna tie off one strand because I wanna loop it uh, to the bottom where the jingle bell is and then I'm going to tie a knot at the top because this is going to be that element that's going to put this piece on a door to let it hang. But I also didn't want the ribbon to kind of move around so you'll see that I took a dab of hot glue to the bottom of the faux pine branches, I really don't know what to call them, and then I pulled on the ribbon so that it would stick to the hot glue. And then I'm going to cut another piece of ribbon and make a cute little bow and then hot glue on top of that. I have just, in the last couple of years, become very charmed by the sound of jingle bells every time I open or shut a door in any door. It doesn't have to just be on your front door. I am literally putting as many jingle bells on every single door I have in this house. And here is the second door hanger that I'm making. I am taking that same gold ornament where we snipped off the string from, but I'm getting rid of all of this and I'm just showing you guys that the Dollar Tree has this, the, this topper on with like a zippy tie. So I needed to get rid of it because I'm not using it. And then I'm gonna take a little bit of hairspray because there was a lot of glitter fallout and it just takes a couple seconds for that hairspray to dry. And then I'm gonna take this uh, piece that Dollar Tree has like on a clip, and essentially I probably could have just clipped it onto the ornament, that little space at the top where you could feed the string through, but I didn't want to. Um, I just kind of took apart this alligator clip and then re-glued each piece back onto the ornament with some hot glue. And you do have to stick around a little bit and let the hot glue kind of really dry because there's it, the piece is a little bit heavy so it can kind of be like tipsy turvy what's the word i really don't know what word i'm looking for topsy turvy right so you really have to kind of sit there and um, be a little bit patient with this one let the glue dry or else you could just try to use an alligator clip and clip it in and let me know how that works out for you guys but otherwise i just kind of took it apart and then put it back together again 
So I am using this gorgeous plaid ribbon. I'm obsessed with this, but I'm going to show you in the next ornament what I learned from this ornament. So essentially what I should have done was the ribbon last just because the bird and the pine cones are pretty wide and because I was feeding the ribbon first it kind of got in the way with the bird and the pine cones and you'll see when I hang it it still looked really cute and I really loved it but I did I was learning as I was going because I've never actually done this before so this is very beginner level and I feel like anyone could really do this and I'm obsessed with the outcome of all four So number three is exactly like number two, where I mentioned earlier, where I kind of learned from the ribbon piece. So you'll see that in, in this one, I did it a little bit different. I actually added the ribbon at the very end, but this one also had a thicker ribbon and it also had a wire edged ribbon. Whereas the first one with the plaid was just like regular ribbon, I guess, without the wire in it. But this essentially is the same concept. I'm just taking the same little like birdie and the cute pine cones and I'm stacking them back on this white ornament, which is also from Dollar Tree. And I'm just gluing it down. Now this little piece, I actually didn't add in the first one, but then I wanted to add it in this one and it was slightly a little bit heavy. So you'll see here that I cut off one of the sides. So, and that kind of helped it out a lot because it was kind of weighing it down a little bit. So there had to be some science in this, right? Because there's too much weight going on. So I had to get rid of something. And essentially that's all I did was I just kind of stacked it all back up and glued it all down. And I spent a lot of time like looking through each layer and gluing it back down. And the more hot glue, the better is all I'm gonna say. And then you'll see here how I did the ribbon. Um, I tied, or I folded it at the end and then I hot glued it together to kind of give it a more stable, thicker, uh, bottom and then I just simply hot glued that to the ornament. And the fourth version that I have to share with you, I am so happy with how it turned out. When I bought this material, I really wasn't sure how it was gonna turn out, but this floral wire from Dollar Tree was perfection. I really didn't know it was gonna be so bendy. For whatever reason, I thought it was gonna be really stiff, but it is really soft and bendy. And it was perfect that it's like this red, gorgeous metallic cover, cover color. So I took the same wire cutters and I just, estimated how much I was going to need and I just so happened that it was the right amount or the right length for all the bells I was going to feed into it. So I used one package of the bells from Dollar Tree. Unfortunately, I didn't size how long the wire was, but you can kind of guess by what you're seeing here and then you can try for yourself. And of course, as you can see, there's lots of wire left, so you can always try again. I chose to go with silver bells, but they have red, green, and gold at Dollar Tree. And as you can see how I'm feeding them through, I'm feeding them one by one, but then they're falling left and right, left and right. So it's kind of like doing a really great job of covering that wire um, and giving it like a full wreath effect. So essentially we're making like a miniature bell wreath as a door hanger, which is everything. When I finished feeding all the bells through, it was really easy to manipulate the wire to kind of close and shut so that the you know bells don't fall out. And then I picked my ribbon of choice and I wanted to go with red. I wanted to give it a clean look and because the wire was red, I went with red ribbon. And as you can see, I kind of went with the same thing that I did with the very first ribbon, which I cut one piece as the door hanger part and then I cut a second piece to make a bow. And then I utilized a like little like lunch tie, little lunch zippy tie that 
I got from Dollar Tree. I don't know which product the silver came from, but I love that it was silver because then the bow had like that little pop of silver to match the bells. And then I hot glued that to the bottom of the ribbon or essentially the top of what is my Jingle Bell wreath. And it was that simple. So that's it for my very first Dollar Tree Christmas DIY. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. My personal favorite is number one. So comment down below, let me know which one's your favorite, and I will see you guys next time for my next Dollar Tree Christmas DIY, or any DIY for that matter for Christmas. And don't forget to subscribe. Please give this video a thumbs up, and I'll see you soon. Bye.